the unfortunate situation that just occurred with um, um, G. Depp and, 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 and admitting that he committed a, uh, a homicide, you know what I'm saying? So break it down for us, your relationship with G. Depp and how you actually met him. All right, my name is Robert C. Stout Jackson, A&R for I the Recordings of the A&R Consultant, a friend for G. Depp. I met G. Depp actually in 2009. He was selling CDs, mixtapes, two for five on, on my block. Right, MOS, it was him and the guy in trouble. So I met G. Dev, I said, yo, brother, I'm a fan. I love your music. I love your style. What you been up to? He's like, listen, brother, I just came home from jail for robbery. You know what I'm saying? All I asked for is a chance. I said, all right, cool. How much you selling the CD for? He said, $5. I bought both of the CDs. I said, listen, next time I see you, I'd like to get an interview with you on my TV show, PositiveTV.com, and maybe possibly assign you to a label I'm working for, for IMG Recorders. He said, all right, bet. Let's make it happen, daddy. And from there, it's been history. You know what I'm saying? But knowing that he had just came home, right. and uh, yes, he had a successful past when he was with Bad Boy, you know what I'm right. saying? But then he went through the struggles, and when he came home, did you not know that he was under the influence of of drugs? I mean, I, I didn't know, because when I met him, he was sober, you know what I'm saying? And the people from the streets were telling me, he's a drug addict, you know, he's a crackhead, he smoked dust. He's messed with hair on. I never seen it. So a few times I did saw it. So with you knowing that he was into that, why would you still want to rock with him? Cause it, cause isn't that sort of like rocking with a loose cannon? Yeah, yeah, definitely. But same time, y'all believe in taking chances. One thing about life, one thing about America, we all about redemption. You gotta give everybody a chance. Okay, okay, okay. So has G Depp actually been what? What is his state right now in the court system? I mean, what is he being charged with? Right now, he's been charged with first degree manslaughter. Uh, we have no more further information until January. You know, he confessed to a crime. It takes a lot of integrity to do that. A lot of honesty to confess to something that you did years ago. A lot of artists, a lot of people won't do that. I'm just mad that hip hop is not really supporting him at this moment. Instead, he's been blasted by the media, Power 105, 187, and different websites when they should be, you know, um, not commend to him, but at the same time, give him some kind of advice, some okay. kind of support, you know what I'm saying? So being that you were such a close friend to him, did he actually come to you and say, yo, I got some shit on my chest that, that I just need to, to get off and, 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 you know what I'm saying, come to amends with? Did he seem any different, you know what I'm saying? I mean, last time I saw him was on my birthday, I told him night, we shot the video, six million ways to die. That's self-explanatory in that video, but he was in, impelled that day, you know, so he was hot. I was drinking, and he was smoking some PCP. He wasn't really seeing himself that day. Now, that do, did you get high with him? I mean, did, did you nah, guys nah, get high nah, together? No, 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 no. Never got high with him. On my birthday, I did celebrate, though. I drunk some Hennessy, and that was it. Okay, okay. So what was the scene like um, down at the courtroom a couple days ago? It was definitely yesterday. It was crazy, you know what I'm saying? It was chaotic. I did not see Puffy there. I did not see Black Rob alone, Mace, and other bad boy comrades there. But his DJ was there. His family was there. His wives. His there. You said wives? They was all there in support for G-Dub. You know, all from my attempt to go out to G-Dub and his family and the victim family at this time. Okay. So, you said that in, in, in your relationship with G-Dub, he was still getting paper, basically. Still getting money. You know, publishing checks was pretty nice. 5000 He was still doing shows. But 5000 what? I mean, 5000 a year? 5000 a month? Like, how, how was well, it coming? 5000 every three months. Oh, that's what's up. Every quarter, every three months, every quarter, you can like publish a check from EMI. You know, definitely. He wrote for, also he wrote for your favorite rapper, favorite rapper, Puff Daddy, Black Train the Parrot, P. Diddy, G. Dev wrote for that, wrote for most of the album. For, hold on, he, he wrote for most of the album? Yeah. Yeah, that man, man, if he's standing here right now, he'll tell you that. You know what I mean? He wrote for most of Puff Daddy on the album right here, Last Train of Paris. So, so was G. Dev actually featured on Last Train of Paris or not? Nah, nah, they took him out of there. Wow. You probably feel that he's not viable at the moment. You know, let me utilize these guys right here. So lastly, did, D, did G Depp, being that he released the video Six Million Ways to Die, did right. he actually have a mixtape coming out? Yeah, the album out right now for Ghetto Legend on iTunes through a company called Famous Records. No promotion, they threw it out there. Also, go to www.depper.biz.com and go to www.imgrecording.com and also support. Hold your head, man. Pray for G. Depp at this moment. You know, everybody might see him as a career criminal or a murderer. 
but at the same time, he confessed for a crime that he did 17 years ago. The day before he did that crime, he actually made a little interest to IMG Record that he will sign to the label and do a reality show my part of Rick Robinson called Camp Hip Hop. We get artists, bring them to a secluded area, get their life together, and give their life to the Lord and also record. You know what I mean? So that's what happened. We prayed, the brother started crying. I think truthfully that uh, he was on influenced by some kind of drugs or maybe God was talking to him. And um, that's the reason why he probably gave himself up, you know what I mean?